Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz or Main Rebel here on YouTube and on Instagram and now I'm on TikTok. Anyways, today we're back to do another hair video. As you can see, my roots are super grown out, but I'm actually gonna try and do a rainbow today. I was actually inspired by a Snapchat filter. I know, calm crazy, but we're gonna make that Snapchat filter come true today. So the rainbow that I'm gonna do is gonna be, I'm hoping to make it a little bit more pastel. Here, I'll show you the filter that inspired me. I do coke, so I can work longer, so I can earn more. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, I really like love my hair being blonde and I don't really want to ruin it entirely with like really harsh like strong pigmented colors. So I'm gonna try and go more pastel. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'm also gonna try and do my extensions. So this is definitely gonna be like a project because those extensions are like 280 grams. Like that is a lot of fucking hair. I was looking for a clear to dilute my color to make it more pastel, but I couldn't really find one. So I ended up getting Olaplex number five. It's just like a regular conditioner. Like for example, this absinthe is really, really bright green and I don't want bright green. So I'm gonna try and make it a pastel green using this conditioner. But as of, as of now, right now, our first step, what we have to do is we have to do these roots. So that's my plan for today. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I haven't, I have never like tried to touch up my own like roots with bleach, but I've tried to highlight my own hair before. So I think this is gonna be a piece of cake. So yeah, that's the game plan. And we're gonna start right now. So for today's bleach, I'm gonna be using my Blondor with 20 volume. And I'm going to apply that all over my roots. So I got my bleach all mixed up. I have 1.5 ounces of my Blondor and I like it kind of like liquidy. So I just made it four ounces with my peroxide. Now I'm sectioning my hair into four sections. Now I don't necessarily recommend you doing your own roots if your roots are longer than mine. And the reason behind that is that you're probably gonna get it's probably for one not gonna be even and you might get a band. If your roots are my length or less, this will be super easy for you. So I usually like to start in the back, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try and figure out. Well, I'll probably get this done for sure. Whatever you do, do not overlap to your old bleach because that's where you cause damage. I like to do my outline first. I'll show you what I'm doing. Up, guys. With your lightener, you want to make sure you're caking it on like it's a frosting on a cake. If you don't put enough product in, there's a there's a big chance that it's going to dry out and when it dries out, it stops working. I'm actually kind of nervous about doing this myself because I'm afraid I'm gonna like miss some pieces. So I might have my boyfriend come help me, but I'm gonna see how far I can go doing it myself. This has surprisingly been so easy. I've already done the back. Where is it? The back. I need to go back through it again and make sure that I got everything. But honestly, this is cake compared to giving myself a balayage and highlights and stuff. We're going places. Okay, so it's probably been like 45 minutes since I finished applying this. And I think it's ready. She looks pretty good. Now I am gonna tone this before I do my rainbow, so I'm not worried about like a little bit of yellow in there. It's, I think it's perfect, honestly. And while I'm in the shower, I'm gonna do a bleach wash which means I'm gonna use a little bit of bleach and I'm gonna put shampoo in it and I'm gonna like lather it as much as I can throughout the rest of my hair. 
because my ends down here are like, it, honestly, like look at that. It just looks way darker. And I really want my hair to be just like really, really blonde. Okay, so I have my hair all like platinum blonde now. And I think it should be light enough to do all my colors. I'm gonna start off with the blue all over my roots and then I'm gonna follow it up with the purple, pink, orange, yellow, and then green. I'm really nervous because I've never done anything like this before, but I'm really excited to try it. So let's go. I'm just gonna go for it. I can already feel like the back is gonna be really hard. Wish me luck, babe. Thank you. Now I am doing this on damp hair because I've never had a problem putting my color on and then I also feel like it kind of like helps it stretch out a little bit. I'm really hoping this doesn't turn green. If it does, uh, I'm gonna cry. I literally didn't plan like how I was gonna do this so I'm just kind of going for it like one color at a time maybe like along the way I'll find out a better way to do it but I'm not too sure I feel like starting from the back might be better but I need to get some foil I can't think straight okay maybe I should try that okay I'm gonna go get some foil okay so I'm gonna try the back sectioning. I feel like it's gonna be really hard, but my arm's not long enough. This is what it looks like. this yellow is gonna come out because my ends are like at least in the back they're kind of like gold so I guess we will see this I'm actually really freaking nervous about this green but uh here we go um that was just one strand and I have the rest of my head to go not to mention my extensiones like if I put my extensions in I might just have to start the rainbow over again Originally, I wanted it like bigger chunks, but my hair really isn't that long. So we're gonna improvise. So I finally finished the back. Um, I feel like 
it was pretty easy honestly I feel like the hardest part was just having my arms like that and I'm gonna do both my sides but I think I'm gonna like rotate from one side to the other so I can try and get this uh, done as quickly as possible So I'll be back in like 45 minutes. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like right now. It actually came out really good. I feel like 6'9". My hair took about six hours and this is probably gonna take me like another three hours. It's the next day, so I'm re-energized and I got my coffee in hand. Hey. So now I have to do my extensions and I'm not really looking forward to this because I already have a sample of what it's going to look like. So this is what I have so far. It looks so good. I hope it matches up well. Um, and then the bottom, I think I'm just going to do like blue and purple again. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't use up a lot of color. I finally finished so I decided to add a little bit of turquoise and then just like a little bit of like purple on the ends gosh this is heavy um, but yeah anyways it's done and I'm just gonna give it a little bit longer just so it can process entirely and then I'm gonna rinse them out put them in my hair and hopefully everything matches beautifully if it doesn't I'm gonna be so sad because it's going to be pretty hard to get these back to being blonde. All right, guys. Well, I guess I will be back with the final result. So 12 hours later, here we are. What do you think? It kind of came out a little brighter than I was expecting, but honestly, I don't even care because that just means it'll last a little bit longer. This whole transformation took me way longer than I thought. I knew it was gonna take me a while, but overall it probably took me like 10 hours, but I can't say that I'm not happy with it. I didn't have any ideas for Halloween, but 6 9 is looking pretty promising. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more hair transformation videos. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok, and I'll see you guys here next time. Bye!